Hello there, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nuts video series on C and C++ interview questions. And in this video we will discuss how to return two dimensional array from function in C and C++. So there are basically three ways to do that. First is using dynamic array. Second is using a static keyword. You will be creating the array statically. Okay. And third is using a struct technique. So we will discuss one by one. So this first one is a using static i mean this dynamic array here so how we create dynamic array i mean 2d dynamic array that's the whole technique here so this is the whole program we have this main here main is having this double integer pointer we are calling this get array function this function here we are creating 2d array like this so i'll tell you what is the meaning of this line here this line here is telling that okay i'll be creating n number of integer pointer array so n is nothing but three here so we will have three pointers okay so this will store integer pointer i mean the address of integer okay and after that using this for loop we are iteratively inserting integer of n's so integer of three so this is like this you have this three this three and this three arrays here and you are putting this inside this i mean the initial address of that okay so this is what happening here so this this line is creating this one and this line is responsible for creating this one this one and this one and why it is creating three times because it is in loop and we are running from zero to n which is three okay that's why it is created three times so this is how we create a two dimensional array dynamically so when you will access it like this array of i let's suppose this is zero here this is zero one two zero one two zero one two zero one two then in this case if you are accessing zero means this one and zero means this one so if it is one two three four five six seven eight 9 0 0 means this position because first 0 is this one second 0 is this one so this is 1 if it is 0 1 then first 0 is always this one if it is 2 1 this means 2 means this one 1 means this one so it is 8 okay so like this this whole dynamic array creation work and why this dynamic array thing will work we are creating this as a pointer and we know that pointer doesn't get created on the function stack the real problem we are dealing with array returning is if you are creating array here in this function and returning that we don't return the array we get the address of that and once this function will get destroyed that array will also get destroyed so if you are not sure what i'm talking about please go and watch my previous video which tells that how to return one dimensional array there i have explained what are the complexities in returning arrays okay so this is one of the way here i think this whole code is pretty much clear because i have written in such a way that there won't be any issue okay so this is the function call here you are calling this function you are creating the array first line will create this one and these four loops will create this one and this four loop will fill the data inside that okay so it doesn't matter what data you're filling and after that you're just returning that array okay with this double pointer and this is the syntax of doing this okay so let's compile this and check whether it is compiling or not see it has compiled and the answer is 0 1 2 1 2 3 and 2 3 4 so this is what i inserted inside that so that's what we are getting here and if you are watching for c just replace this line with printf okay printf D array of i j okay and you're done there's no issue in this and you will have to remove this using namespace in ios stream but the code will be similar okay there is no much change you won't be having this return zero but that also doesn't matter the whole idea is from where you want to return the array create it dynamically and this is the way of doing this note it down okay so let's move to the next point which tells that using static keyword so let me replace this whole code here and this is the code for that and uh, 
this is something you might find a weird one okay we are doing everything similar but not exact similar before if you remember we are ha we were having this as a double pointer but this time if you really want to get return an array not as a pointer and please remember arrays are not similar to the pointers so they are total different things okay so before we were dealing with the pointers that's why we were returning double pointer and that was making sense and everywhere we were using double pointers and things was good and this time we will be dealing with the arrays you will be returning array literally array so this is what the syntax is and if you want to get array into your pointer this is what the syntax is okay so this is how you will create a pointer which will hold n number of arrays okay and this field has to be there and this should be a constant value okay so this is how you do this get array will do the same thing get array is this function and yes this is the syntax of writing your function which returns 2d array it is looking very weird but it is really very simple but there is a technique type def there you can use i mean define the type like suppose you are defining a type like double pointer okay and this is what it is after this you have to keep this one as a type so now your life will become easy okay and you're done see compile this and it is working fine okay so what you did you created a type by saying that okay this is a pointer of an arrays okay and why static int is working here i have already discussed in previous video that the static is created at global scope and it doesn't get destroyed when you return from this function okay so it will be there that's why you are happily accessing here i recommend please watch my previous video which tells about how to return one dimensional array there i have discussed so many things and that would be clearing your doubt so much and the last one is using struct technique so let's look at that so this is what the struct technique is you will be wrapping your array whatever you want to return from some array inside some structure okay like this and just simply create the variable of that structure type and fill that array and simply return that variable and keep that type as a structure type and that is perfectly fine because here it is returned by a value okay so array element will get copied one element by one element here okay you can do this with classes also i have taken struct because maybe those people who don't know c++ might get confused here okay so this is the third technique let's compile this and check the working of this one yeah see this is also working okay so this is really very simple you are creating a structure accessing that array inside that and just populating it and just returning after that we are just simply getting it sending it to print we are printing it everything is okay so this is one of the coolest way to do this but when your array will get bigger and bigger then this return here will make problem for you because it is a copy of your all the elements from this variable to this variable okay that's why generally we don't prefer this and we don't really use this returning array thing we generally what we do we create the array here itself and we'll send the address of that here and we will populate that array here we don't create array and populate here and just return that array no we generally don't do that so this is all about returning two dimensional array thanks for watching